Speaking of Ellis' work on the now-defunct Wildstorm universe, today I'm going to talk about arguably the most famous Superman analog of that line, Apollo. Now, Apollo was introduced late in the Stormwatch run alongside his partner, the Batman analog, the Midnighter. They then went on to be a foundational part of The Authority, a team dedicated to proactively making the world better and dealing with truly massive threats. Apollo and Midnighter had been part of a secret program to make a very Justice League-like team, common theme, you'll see, for Wetworks operations. They were the lone survivors of a botched mission. Midnighter tends to get more coverage because he's like Batman, but Apollo was a gem. For one thing, while his power set was pretty much just Superman's, he also had a solar charge component, but it was on a very rapid scale. Long fights in the dark could deplete him, but on the other hand, he could be back up to full charge with just a few hours in the sun. It was a little Birdman-like, I guess. He tended to be the more moral voice on a group that walked on shades of gray. Though later books would skew the whole team darker, Apollo remained the most moral. As for design, he clearly had some elements in homage to Supreme, particularly the Chris Sprouse version. He was also notable for being in a relationship with Midnighter. The best stories about the characters took this as a beautiful thing, though some immature comic writers played it for laughs. They eventually got married and adopted the living embodiment of the 21st century. That's a long story. Being a team book, he never had the same focus that a solo protagonist would get, but The Authority was intended as a big action blockbuster version of superhero books, and that's what we got. When the New 52 launched, they folded the character into the DCU, but had a hard time figuring out where to position the characters who were homages to existing DC characters. Plus, they were given terrible redesigns. See? However, the character will always stand out for being a dynamic Superman with a power set that allowed for huge iconic moments, but also moments of weakness. Sometimes the value is not in reinventing the wheel, but refining it. And Apollo was clearly a Superman that was tailor-made for the types of stories we wanted to hear at the dawn of the millennium. <laughs>